Hello, Pray and Share Warriors. I was waiting on my other camera to start working. Oh my goodness, technology, technology. I hope you had an awesome Monday. I had a good day. I got groceries into this house. Like, it took me a while to put them up. But we needed them. We were down to hardly nothing. And then I didn't cook any of them. I cooked something that we already had. Oh well, I am trying not to waste food in this house. So again, we are going to talk about God's Word. And we are going to talk about Psalm 119. As I was reading parts of that last night, I was going, wow, all of this is about God's Word and about God's statutes and about, you know, the things that God wants us to do. So I thought we'd dive in... Uh, 1 to 20 tonight and then tomorrow night we'll do 20 we'll do 21 through I don't know we may do more tomorrow night so I won't be here on Wednesday I'll be a youth all right well let's jump into some prayer I've got people to pray for that are sick you probably have people to pray for too just feel free to pray right along with me for your sick people too my hair is like this is summer hair and I just don't care it's like uh, I don't even know if I got the right color in there I don't think I did I think I have a pink one but I do have pink on my shirt anyway I got dressed to go to the bank and go pick up groceries all right well let's jump into some prayer and let's pray for some of these people that are sick that they will feel the healing of God they will feel his presence during their sickness. God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do, God. You are magnificent and powerful and mighty. You are on your throne and you are in control. There is nothing that is hidden from you, God. God, we just pray for, um, we praise you that you are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. That you are our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge, God. And God, you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. But you are also kind and loving and kind and compassionate and um, faithful. You are trustworthy, God. You are patient. You want none to perish, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved, God. We pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray for them to look where they are, God. Many of them probably in a pig pen like the prodigal son, God. Just draw them back to you. Help them to repent and uh, for you to reconcile the relationship that they once had with you, God. We just pray for all the disasters that are happening in our country and all over the world, God. We just pray for all the uprisings where people are in the streets against their government, God, because they want freedom, because they want rights, God. Many of them seeking a country like ours where we do have freedom, even though there's a battle every day for people to take those freedoms away from us. God, we are free right now, and we thank you for that. We pray for all these people, God, that you would meet their needs where they are, God, that they would feel your presence, that they would feel drawn to you, that they would see the hands and feet of Jesus, that they would feel the love and compassion of Jesus as their needs are met. God, I just lift up all the people that I know, God, that are sick, many with COVID, many not, God. I just pray for a healing for them. I pray for a peace for them, God. I just pray that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence and your healing, God. That they would take care of themselves, God. That they would do the things that 
the doctor told them to do. God, I pray. I know people that have cancer too. God, I pray for healing for that. Just pray for a miraculous healing. Either through treatment or just miraculously by your hand, God. God, we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones last year and this year. God, we just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we just pray that they would feel your presence. God, we pray for all the violence that is going on in, in the streets. All the shootings and all the things, the many things, God, that are going on. We pray for law enforcement. We pray for law enforcement to be restored, God, so that they can help in these situations. God, we just pray for an America that is one nation under you, God. That we would seek the face of Jesus. That we would follow the ways of Jesus, God. This is what we pray for, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, okay, my pray and share warriors, let's go ahead. I did not do a song share today. I barely got in here tonight. I was late doing dinner. It has been a good day, but a bit of a crazy day. I have laundry in my dryer that needs to be put up, and... This will be the fourth time that I started up, but it was really hot this afternoon, and that is not a job that I like to do when it's hot. Okay, let's see where, I think we will end with 24, because 20 is going to be in the middle of one of these little spots. So this is called... In my study Bible, it's called Meditations on the Excellences of the Word of God. And this little portion is called Aleph. Blessed are the un undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. So you might know this by now. Former President Obama said to have scaled back the guest list for his 60th birthday bash. But man, was that tent big, Dana. Uh, the party did go on. Hundreds of guests in attendance. The former president can be seen in pictures hitting the dance floor without a mask. We're told that he danced all night and had a great time. Happy birthday. Okay. I don't know why that came on. So please excuse me. That was Fox News talking about something. Okay. I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. So these are the things that we are to do. We will be blessed if we walk in the law of the Lord. We will be blessed if we keep his testimonies who seek him with a whole heart if we seek him with a whole heart we will be blessed that we do no iniquity that we walk in his ways and he has commanded us to do that that we keep his statutes then we won't be ashamed I will praise you with the uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. So these are the things that we are to do. How can a young, this, the next part is called Beth. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word, which is not according to your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They almost made an end of me on earth. But I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Wow, that's beautiful. 
revive me. This country needs a revival. There are many, many people out trying to revive this country, but it needs, wow, it needs to be revived. It needs Jesus. This country needs Jesus. This world needs Jesus. All right, this is the last little part here. Oh, wait. You know what? I did not. I turned too many pages. Okay, so this is the rest of Beth. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart. We need to do that. We need to hide God's word in our heart. Because there may be a day, there have been days in history where countries have lost their Bibles. They have lost their books. They have lost their history. We could too. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. So that has gotten us through 16. Again, we're talking about God's word. We're talking about his statutes. We're talking about his ways. We need to walk in his ways. So Gimel says, Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. So again, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see. That's a song. I'm not going to sing it to you though. Wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. We are strangers in the earth. This is not our home. We are just passing through. Our home is in heaven. Look behind me. That is our future home. That is our future forever home. A lot of people say, this is my forever home. Nope, that's my forever home. Any home that I have here on earth, it's just transitory. I am going to that one. And you go, well, how do you know you're going to that one? Because I accepted God's Son, Jesus, as my Savior. And so that's how I know. That is my assurance. That is my ticket to heaven. Accepting Jesus as my Savior. I think we'll do that one tonight. So, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me. But your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. You know, this whole book, this Word of God, can be a counselor. You can go in here, and if you are having a problem, you can even go back to the back of a Bible, most Bibles, especially study Bibles. You can look up one word, and it's going to give you a lot of scriptures. Um, the U version on the phone. I have U version on my phone. You just type in a word and it's going to give you all the scriptures that go along with that. That is because God's word is for everyone. God's word is alive and it's true. Oh, somebody's calling. I'm going to have to decline my husband. <sighs> Lots of interruptions tonight on my phone. The other camera seems to be working well, but I'm still uploading my video from last night to YouTube, so I don't know. Just having a lot of technical 
technicalities. Okay. I don't want to take... Uh, I'll take that one and put it in there. Okay, so tomorrow night, we're going to read some more Psalm 119. Uh, we will do... We did 24 tomorrow night. We'll do Psalm 119. 25 through something. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Okay. Well, it is already time to share the gospel. And so, this is a ticket to heaven. It could be your ticket to heaven. And heaven is behind me. That's the new Jerusalem. I love that picture. Okay, it's not mine. I did not paint it. I acquired that from a job that I had. Okay, so, and it says admit one. So that's what, what that means is that if your grandmother was saved and you're not saved, you're not going to heaven on your grandmother's ticket, your mother's, your father's, your aunt's, your uncle's. Everyone has to make this decision on their own. This is everyone has to choose so your ticket to heaven I'm going to smile because it's exciting your ticket to heaven may I offer you a ticket to heaven you don't have to pay for it you don't it's already been paid for and that's a good thing because we couldn't afford it because you could never afford to buy it <clears throat> excuse me it's free but only because someone has already paid the ultimate price for it God loves you and not only wants you to have a fulfilling life on earth he always he also wants you to live with him in heaven forever he's the one who offers you a paid in full ticket no one wants to go to hell no one wants to go to hell. Hell is not going to be a party. If you've heard that hell is going to be a party with your friends, it is going to be separation from God. It is going to be separation from everyone. It is going to be nonstop torture. Go listen to 23 Minutes in Hell um, by Bill Weiss. It's very eye-opening. No one wants to go to hell, hell where no one wants to go to hell where there will be no joy and no pleasures whatsoever. And God doesn't want anyone to go there either. God does not want anyone to go to hell. The Bible says that God is not wishing that any should perish. 2 Peter 3 9. But there is a problem with getting that free ticket. We have all done wrong. We have all sinned, haven't we? God's word says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. 1 John 1.8 Sin pollutes. It makes us unclean. Unfit for God's presence in that wonderful, perfect place called heaven. Sin penalizes. It separates us from a sinless God. For the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. In short, our sinfulness blocks the delivery of the ticket that we need to get into heaven. Who paid for it? Wait, there's awesome news. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to earth to be born and to live his life without sin. He suffered once for our sins the righteous one for the unrighteous, which is all of us, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 When God laid on him the iniquity, sins of us all. Isaiah 53.6 Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mark 15.34 The answer is simple and profound. Jesus was separated from God because he took your place and mine on the cross. 
and by dying he paid in full the wages our sins had earned. Then he rose from the dead, was seen by hundreds of people, and is alive today so you can know him and receive the gift of eternal life. Your ticket to heaven. That's right, the Bible says to all who did receive him, Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1, 12. That is so awesome. You can become a new person, born of God, to start a brand new life that pleases God. And of course, all God's children have a ticket to heaven. So do you want it? It is no accident you were given this offer of a ticket to heaven. God has made sure you can receive it. The whole issue is, did Jesus pay for all your sins or didn't he? God said he did. Trust God that it is so. Whosoever believes in the Son of God has eternal life. John 3.36 Just as a man says, Yes, I will take this woman to be my wife, God wants you to tell him, Yes, I will take Jesus to be my Savior. I believe that he is the only way to heaven. The Bible says, Whoever has the Son, Jesus, has life. 1 John 5.12 if you believe that God's way to heaven is the only way, you can claim your ticket by telling God in words like these. All right, I gotta turn this fan on. I'm getting hot in here. Okay, you can repeat this after me if you would like to. Dear God, I have sinned. I know I have offended you in many ways. I am so sorry. I believe that Jesus suffered and died for my sins, paid my debt in full, and rose again. Sorry, leave this on high. <clears throat> Jesus, I believe in you and thank you for what you've done for me. Please save me from the penalty of my sins and give me a new birth and the power to live for you. Thank you for this offer to spend eternity with you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So remember what John 3.36 says, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Do you now believe in Jesus as your Savior, your only ticket to heaven? Do you have everlasting life? like God said. So if you said that prayer and you accepted Jesus as your Savior, welcome to the kingdom family of God. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, His Son. And this little track is a Good News Tracks by Crossway. Okay. Well, it is time to give you a blessing from God. I thought my son was coming in here. Numbers 6, 24 through 26. And no, I did not get my desk cleaned off today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't really ha see it happening tomorrow either. I don't know. All right, I need numbers. Number six. I have it marked on my other Bible, but this one I do not. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We all need some peace. All right. Well, I'm going to pray again. My friend Josie didn't make it tonight. I'll message her and see if she's doing okay tonight. All right. Well, let's pray. Let's be sure that we are getting in God's Word every day. And if you did accept Jesus tonight, then do read God's word. Do pray. Do praise God. Oh. Hey, Josie. Oh, I didn't see that you were there. Josie's there, but I did not see her little picture. She's got a teeny, teeny, tiny, little bitty picture. That's, that's all I get from Facebook is like a little tiny picture. But I know Josie's picture. I recognize her picture. So if you ever come on here and I don't say anything to you, it's because I don't know who you are. Because all I have is a tiny picture. I don't even have a name unless you say something. If you say something, then I'll have your name and I'll know who you are. All right, Josie. Well, I am, uh, what do we need to pray for tonight? And are you doing okay today? A little bit of a delay. I'm moving around like I'm listening to music, but I'm really not. I just, I just do this in this chair. Are you going back to take a nap? Meow. My cat's in here with me. She thought Seth was coming in here, so she got. She got down out of the chair, and now she's back in. Okay, well, I'm going to pray and get off of here, because I need to go feed Seth. I haven't fed him yet. I barely ate not too long ago. Prayers for people that lost loved ones. Okay. All right, are you feeling better? pray. God, we just praise you and thank you, God. I, I praise you for my friend Josie, my sister. She's my sister in your kingdom, God. We are kingdom family, and I thank you for all of my kingdom family. And God, we just pray for um, people that have lost loved ones, God. It's such a hard time for people. And uh, we just pray, God, that you would... Um, Draw them close to you, that you would comfort them and and give them peace and give them strength, God, to keep moving forward. And that they would feel your presence, God. They would feel you very close to them during this time. Mm -hmm. I just pray for Josie, and I pray for Austin. I pray for Mr. Mike and the boys, God. I pray that you would continue to heal their bodies, that you would continue to be with them, that they would feel your healing power, God. And I just pray for um, Josie's family, her sisters and her brothers and their families, God. I pray for protection and blessings and provision. I pray for the same for Josie and her family, Mr. Mike. I pray for protection and provision and blessings. I pray for Josie's um, children and her grandchildren. I pray the same for them. I pray for your protection, God, and your provision and your blessings. God, we just, uh, 
The things that we hear and the things that we see, God, about our country make us sad. God, I know that our country has never been perfect. It has always had its flaws. But it just seems like right now, that there is much evil. There is much evil going around in our country and all over the world too, God. But we know, we know that Jesus overcame death and hell and we know that Jesus won. Jesus has already won this battle, God. We just pray that you would help us to be strong warriors as we stand up every day to the evil that surrounds us. That you would give us peace, God. That you would help us to learn more and more about your word. That you would help us to focus on your word, God. That there would be a Jesus movement in our country and all over the world that just absolutely cannot be stopped. God, we pray for the souls of these people that are lost. God, we pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Just like we talked about a while ago. He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way. God, just please help us to share that, to go out boldly and to share the gospel of Jesus. To share your truths when we have the opportunity, God. Help us to do that boldly too. God, we just pray. We just pray, God, that... We just pray. We just pray for the lost and we pray for the prodigals too, God. That they would return to a relationship with you. They would see where they are, God, and that they would realize that their relationship with you was so much better. That they would repent of their sins, God. And that they would draw close to you. That they would learn about your statutes. They would learn to walk in your ways, God. We just thank you, God. We pray for all these school kids that are going back to school. God, I know Walnut Springs and Morgan start back on Wednesday, God. We pray that you would be with these students. We pray that you would be with the parents. We pray that you would be with the teachers and the administration and all the school staff, God, that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence, that this year would be a better year than last year, which was such a strange year, God. God, we just pray that you would eradicate this disease out of our lives. That this disease would not be able to stand up to your power. And God, we have seen very many people healed, many more healed than not healed, God. We pray. We pray for truth, for all truths to be revealed going forward. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, I got that. Okay, pray for my daughter. She's sick. And uh, she's included in all the all the sick people that I prayed for. Hey, God knows who's sick and who's not sick. Even people that we don't know are sick that are sick. God knows. That's so great that we don't have to know everything. That we just have to pray to Him, and He He knows things that we don't know. You know, that's awesome. He knows us so intimately. All right, well, my sister, I am going to get off of here. Pray and share, warriors. I am going to get off of here. Um, everybody have an awesome rest of your night. 
an awesome tomorrow. And uh, God bless all of you and your families abundantly. And much love. Not very good at making this heart. Much love and cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.